not for these kinds of videos. From my own experimentation, for these videos, for my style of videos, editing actually takes more than it gives. For different style of videos, for example, if you're making some kind of hype montage, 100% editing works there. So you need to figure it out. For example, would you, do, would you want to watch a podcast which has weird, annoying editing where there's sound effects? Like I've seen some podcasts like that. I've seen podcasts which sound effects pop up, pictures pop up on the screen. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Just let me just watch the person, right? My videos are more like podcasts. And even if you're not making a full length, one hour long video, you're making a 10 minute video on how to, you know, uh, on philosophy or whatever. If it's you speaking to the camera, teaching them something, it requires no editing at all. You can even stumble the words. It's absolutely fine. You can get an editor to take out those errors if you want. Personally, I think the new age of YouTube is that of like the authentic, almost scrappy, real video, where it's these guys who have just pressed record and they're just speaking and you end up messing up your words a few times in a weird way that makes you more likable. It makes people relate to you more. I use the Sony ZV-1 camera with the Rode Video Mic Plus uh, microphone. This what I'm on right now is actually my uh, my desktop, and this is a Shure mic. This is uh, it's a MacBook Pro, and it's plugged into a studio display, and the webcam is from the studio. This is the microphone. But if I was you, I would just use an iPhone, honestly iPhone quality is better than most cameras that you could buy. Every single person knows immediately how to use an iPhone, how to deal with the videos, how to transfer them, how to upload them. You get a camera, the mic shit. You go research the mic, you get it. You need an, adap you need an adapter for the, the camera, for the mic. You need a cable to plug it into your computer. You need, oh, but you can't record right now. You need an SD card and you need an SD card adapter. And the battery keeps dying, so you need to buy more batteries, and you need to buy the battery charger, you need to buy all these things, and maybe you think you can buy them all in one set. Usually this doesn't work, and if you want to get, like, you know, these really nice cameras, you need to start buying the lens and learn, like, a whole new skill of film filmatography. Useless. Pointless. iPhone camera, even the front camera, is more than enough. There's YouTubers out there that have gotten... 3 million subscribers in less than 20 videos just using the front camera. Again, if anything, it kind of adds to some level of rawness and authenticity. If you're making a different style of video, you're making a documentary, sure. If you're making some, some edit or something, okay, fine. If you're making educational videos, there's a lot of videos which literally have just been recorded with a camera and the quality is phenomenal. The mic is awesome. How easy it is for you is so easy that it's got so much less friction. If I was you, if you're thinking of buying a camera, I wouldn't. Buy the newest iPhone and use that. I don't think that's a problem. The idea is that you don't speak to your audience and you don't speak to this, this object, but rather you're speaking to one person because it's only really one person watching. It's just that there's one person hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands of times, but it's just one person who's actually watching at once. But it's not like halfway through the recording the video, I'm still thinking, yeah, this is Hamza, younger Hamza, younger Hamza, younger Hamza. I'm just speaking now. The idea is you start the video, start recording by like just imagining that you're speaking to your younger self or maybe a friend or someone you know or, or who you are right now, maybe me. And then by the time you've spoke for a few words, you're already in a flow state. So you're not going to be thinking, I'm still speaking to my younger self. Slowly, more and more of the length of the video will seem like you're just speaking to a friend. You can imagine the first 30 seconds might seem really nice. Then you might kind of warm up a bit and it's looking good. You're speaking as you would to a friend. Maybe near the end, you start feeling a bit awkward and stuff. If you keep practicing for the next six months, by the end of the video, you'll still be talking in the same way.